Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where Ethereum and Bitcoin have both broken the top of their parallel channels and have found support on that channel and then moved upwards. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering that and covering the resistance that we are looking at right now. Um, so it's going to be fairly swift because I am still managing a lot of trades at the moment. But as we meander across the 8 and 12 exponential moving average, I'm going to put together a quick mm, 10, 5 minute video for you all just to cover what's going on here because it has been Saturday normally associated with a very slow paced sideways movement. And today has been one of the most volatile days in cryptocurrency trading for me in a very long time it's been absolutely brilliant to trade all started off with trading ontology um which was you know absolutely crazy uh, crazy moves that we saw on ontology um but let's go over bitcoin here so as you'll know, this is the exact parallel channel that I had in yesterday's and the day before and the day before video. Okay, so this has not been changed at all. And we all know that we were within this parallel channel and what we were seeing to see is, is if we got a candle close above. Okay, what I'm going to do here is look at it on the three minute chart because this is what I'm trading at the moment. It's what I've been trading all day, the three minute charts across all altcoins and Bitcoin. So what we saw here, okay, what we saw, let's just remove everything a second. Okay, so just we, we're just with our parallel channel. We broke above the parallel channel as you see here moved above touched and we moved up we moved up above the parallel channel we then got rejected by about 1.8 percent okay back down okay 1.72 percent of the actual wick 1.95 percent okay but what happened was the resistance of the top parallel channel that we had been that we had been having over the last five days was broken and what happened we broke above broke above the resistance, come back down, held that resistance as support, and that's where we moved on. And, you know, this has not been adjusted in the slightest, and you can just see the holding of this channel. It, that was just crazy. Um, so that's what we have on the short-term time frame. We had the break of the parallel channel coming back down, holding as support, and then a just a move, you know, moving back up and up to the next resistance level, which I'll cover now very quickly. While we, yeah, obviously, just to put all those back on, we are still on the 12 EMA here, okay? The, this is, uh, yeah, currently looking very nice but i would say that the break has not been seen, seen the greatest volume in the world to be honest if you look at the volume here yes we still have what another five hours left of the day but not a massive volume considering we've broken up from a resistance uh, so that's something to note in my opinion that the volume is low we will obviously have a gap as well uh, open up so we're going to have like a five percent gap here so um i'm really seeing how the day how the day closes out it's no surprise where we've topped out though in my opinion so let's just remove everything again here okay so where's bitcoin topped out exactly at the previous high that we had here so would you class this as a higher high it has been broken by two dollars okay so 4130 here we've got 4132 before getting rejected before getting rejected okay so slightly very 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 slightly here there has been a higher high made okay so that's uh, just the first thing to note um, what else? Let's go load this back up. We have got the 100, 100 day EMA. So the 100 day EMA, you would generally expect this to reject the first time. OK, so I would expect this to reject the first time and get a pullback. OK, so I am expecting a pullback here on Bitcoin, to be honest with you. But um, I'm not short in this. OK, I'm, I'm actually not short in this at the moment. I originally done a short when we had that pump up and then we came back down and I placed a little short above there and obviously got stopped out. And that was to hedge myself because I'm in so many altcoin longs. Um, I didn't want to have all the profits if we had fell back down evaporate. So um, I hedged long as I hedged into a short on the three minute chart as we broke up here. And then I had my stop loss just above here on a short position on Bitcoin. And obviously when we come back up, I got stopped out of that short. But for me, it was more of a hedge because, you know, i had been trading that alt so heavily. That was for me was needed. Um, but yeah, that obviously that happened. And now we have hit the 100 day exponential moving average. I am now playing this cautiously for the time being until we close out today. Obviously, for me, the volume is low on the break. Um, so that's noticeable. The volume is quite low at the moment, to be honest. Um, but obviously, yeah, Ethereum broke up very nicely from, you know, Ethereum was in a very similar channel, could have been also classed as the ascending triangle. Um, you know, if you just look at it textbook, Ethereum is the exact, exact same where we had this sort of ascending triangle, ascending triangle breaking up. Okay, Ethereum was in the same place, but it's just absolute crazy day of trading. Honestly, it all started for me on Ontology, where Ontology was just today it saw a 20% gain, uh, literally a 20% gain. And this is something that I tweeted out a few days ago. Yeah, when I, when I said, if you have been bullish, like, do not get scared. And this is like, turned out to be so true and i had some comments from people saying oh you're, you're, you're turning bullish at the uh at the very top and 
well that obviously wasn't true was it um <laughs> so when i was saying scared money don't make money don't be afraid to buy a pullback because it is normal uh, i'm scaling into alts into anticipation of the drop which obviously happened and then we had the um you know i'm happy that i scaled into those positions obviously they've worked out extremely nicely especially with the bitcoin up obviously then that turned out very nicely be greedy when others are fearful when everyone was selling that drop that we had uh, on bitcoin uh that was the time to be scaling in okay but obviously now um just showing you what happened here on ontology i'm proud of this trade by the way <laughs> so i called the top here so i said sold all of my ontology here as i believe wave three is over volume climax possible various divergences on rsi and histogram 20 percent on the day 94 percent rise in two weeks that's you know absolutely amazing <laughs> but um yeah ontology that was called at 97 cents okay our top was 97 cents so again i sold the exact top on ontology and then what was the move down here in total uh, had yeah a six percent move down it is now actually finding support off of our eight and twelve exponential moving averages um so yeah nice to see that ontology could could potentially have another leg up here but i've actually closed out of the ontology position if it's move up to to move up here again i'm you know not bothered at all actually uh, I'm now mainly concentrating on bitcoin see what's going on here on the three minute time frame okay still holding the eight and twelve emas uh very nice um yeah, I just wanted to give you all a really quick video uh, because I am still in trades on all of this. I don't want it to go on too long. Uh, so just a really quick overview of what's happened today. So really quick over for you all. I mean, all the altcoins started popping way before Bitcoin popped. OK, so Ontology was up 20 percent. Neo then popped. OK, Neo then had a big 8 uh, percent rise. OK, then shortly after about half an hour half an hour after ethereum had its rise okay ethereum broke resistance and then after that bitcoin broke resistance so that's the order it went in that's the order i was trading it and then obviously on the three minute when you're sculping obviously bitcoin pumped up came back down held that resistance that flipped into support flipped it into support came back up and where do we find resistance off of the uh after the last previous swing high so now we are fighting resistance there i'm not looking to short bitcoin because the you know the temporary momentum at the moment is with the bulls definitely okay definitely short-term momentum is with the bulls but i am just aware that there is this five percent gap that's going to open up here so that's something that i've definitely got aware um, i've definitely got in mind uh, but yeah short term but definitely momentum is with the balls here without out a shadow of a doubt uh, we are though obviously reaching big resistance levels this you know goes without saying that this is a big area of resistance here um <clears throat> But while the momentum is with the bulls, I'm not looking to short these areas until we start breaking down from some supports, okay? Yes, I, I wouldn't be shorting the exact top, but I'm not looking to short exact tops here. Um, I much prefer to short with a breakdown and, and short a, 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 show, a showing of weakness, okay? At the moment, there's no weakness um, with the bulls. Although they, they are breaking up on low volume, which I've already mentioned, that's a, a, that is a bearish sign. But I would prefer to short a breakdown, for example, from the 236 here, rather than trying to be a hero and shorting the top. <laughs> um, just just playing it. I'm going to continue sculping, to be honest, at the end, till the end of the day. Um, this, for me, is I absolutely love high volatility like this. This is absolutely what I crave as a trader. Uh, Neo has been just been, you know, Neo is really funny. That ontology had its really big pump, literally sold the top. And then within about an hour later, Neo got its really big pump of 8%. And I think this was like people that are obviously associated with ontology going into ONG or Neo, obviously all within the same family sort of tree. Uh, yeah, just a really exciting day of trading. Um yeah that's everything that i wanted to cover really quickly i hope this video has served you all well i'm going to go back and trade this um on on bitcoin but uh, yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this really quick update um so yeah the overview was that we broke up came back down finding now resistance at our new high let's just quickly say if we do manage to get above here which is is kind of pushing it if we do break above here next resistance 4220 okay so that would be our next resistance level if we are to break up but uh, that's another two nearly 2.5 percent away so that would be quite an ask uh let's see what's going on on the 10 minute time frame okay histogram down ticking histograms down ticking okay while well, price is moving up here um rsi obviously coming down as well so this i would be surprised if we broke up and reached 4200 tonight uh if i'm honest with you but um yeah not to say it's not not impossible obviously but it would seem a little bit unlikely but the strength is for sure with the bulls okay price moving up here on yeah very low volume so yeah, I'm just very aware that the volume is very low. We are down ticking on the histogram, are seeing RSI slightly falling off. 
But while the EMAs still hold as support, especially on the 15 minute, these are going to catch up and hold as support. Um, you know, short term momentum without a doubt is with with the bulls. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this quick video. Um, I will be around to answer questions if you want to leave a comment or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you on, on questions. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody and uh, cheers. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. I'm going to go back to trading it now. <laughs> thank you.